Technology today advances so fast, but back in the late 80s or early 90s, we had to just make do with what we had at our disposal, which often resulted in watching terrible cartoons or playing the most bizarre things imaginable. And nothing strikes me as stranger a marriage than a hobby that's still around today, video games, and a medium that died off decades ago, VHS. And yet, for a brief, albeit confusing and horrifying moment in time, they were the hottest thing ever. Keeping in the tradition of naming things only 20 years ahead to sound futuristic, Hydro Sub 2021, a game from Action Max, which I'm genuinely surprised to learn was not the name of a Saturday morning cartoon series featuring a hunky blonde man fighting bad guys, was described as a futuristic underwater voyage. In hindsight, I suppose they were correct about one thing, which was that in the future we're all going to be fucking underwater. Action Max systems required the player to have a VCR. As the gaming is strictly point based and using light guns, you simply shot at the screen in front of you. See, the console had no way to play the VHS tape it came with. You'll have to forgive us, we were but lowly peons with simple technology and not the e gods we are today. Released in 1987, Hydro Sub 2021 actually has very little information on it across the internet, or at least very little concrete, interesting information. Actor Thunder Levin, which might be the best name of all time, was also production associate on another Action Max VCR game titled 38 Ambush Alley and went on to direct mutant vampire zombies from The Hood, which really has nothing to do with the game itself and is more just hilarious. The game itself, however, sounds pretty fantastic if I'm being honest. I mean, just listen to this description I managed to dig up from oldcomputers.com. Battle underwater and airborne enemies of the future. Take her down deep, deep in the uncharted waters of the 21st century. Speed through the murky depths of the ocean floor aboard the Hydra Sub, the Sea Dragon. Captain Jason, whose command it spans two centuries, is at the helm. Is it the lost world? It's unbelievable. Mechanical crabs, torpedoes firing enemy subs, incredible. Are they man-made or mutations from another civilization? It's an action-packed adventure from the beginning to the end. Are you ready to come aboard? All truth be told, that sounds awesome. Mechanical crabs? Who doesn't like that? And a captain who's apparently 200 years old or more? That's intriguing. And if the success of games like Bioshock or Subnautica have taught us anything, it's that people want to explore the depths of the ocean while killing everything they see, obviously. It's just human nature, after all. When you look at the other titles available for VCR gaming, Hydro Sub really does stand out as something at least even semi-interesting, simply because it's not ridiculously stupid, and even if it were, it's at least somewhat unique for being different enough. And that, in and of itself, makes it kind of memorable. The weird thing, or yet another weird thing I guess, about the game is that it's only 20 minutes long. So if you complain about game length today, just imagine how stupid you'd have felt back when this came out. And I can understand why, perhaps, because to time a cassette and the film on it to the player reactions was probably really challenging, so thus the shorter the work, the easier they were to produce. But that's just one theory, perhaps I'm completely wrong, it's been known to happen before. There's not much more to be said about this. It's not my fault that there's not a lot of information, I just think VCR gaming overall was rather niche and not fondly remembered, as is the medium of VHS itself, so there's not really a wealth of content to draw from. I will say this much, Action Max was made by a company called Worlds of Wonder, an American toy company founded by former Atari employees. And along with the Action Max, they also made Teddy Ruxpin and Laser Tag. That's a powerhouse of 80s entertainment. Hydro Sub was interesting, it was an arcade-esque shooter, yes, like most games, especially at that time, but it stands out because it's got a real identity to it, it's different and unique, and it's not just aim at bad guys and fire. It's got this unusual setting and a premise, and it's all said and told just really, really cool. 
In fact, I kind of wish I could buy this and play it today, but it's likely pretty hard to find an action max system now. I mean, maybe, I don't know, maybe it isn't. Maybe eBay is chock full of them. I haven't really checked, to be honest. Despite doing this show, BCR games aren't really at the top of my list of priorities. Hydra Sub 2021 is neat, and I really recommend you check it out. Or maybe I'm the only one who thinks stuff like this is cool. I mean, I like Jewels of Urn, so 